everybody welcome back to my channel this is Laura today what I'm going to be sharing with you is how I make a German chocolate cake today happens to be my birthday I'm going to be celebrating at home just like everybody else has that shouldn't stop us from making the things that we enjoy the most German chocolate cake has always been one of my favorite birthday cakes my mother used to make this for me when I was a young girl and I will never forget that flavor. So for all of you who enjoy German chocolate cake, I am going to share with you my recipe. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Laura where I post cooking and baking videos at least twice a week. If you are a regular here, thank you for coming back. I appreciate you. Now, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy the content. Go visit us on Facebook and Instagram at Virtual Kitchen with Laura. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get started. Let's make this birthday cake. Alrighty, we are going to start by creaming the butter. The butter is at room temperature, very important. Even your eggs should be at room temperature. And we are going to cream this with the sugar. Okay, everything seems to be incorporated nicely. We're going to add the eggs and we are going to add them one by one and wait till that one is incorporated before moving on. Okay, now that we've got that nice and creamy, we are going to add in our melted chocolate. And this is a square of uh, German chocolate and you melt it in the microwave in 20 or 30 second intervals and it should take it about 40 seconds. Don't leave it too long. Okay, we're going to whip this up. Alright, I'm going to scrape everything down. Okay, over here I have the cake flour, the baking soda, and the salt. We're just going to give this a little mix. I think my bowl was too small. And we have our buttermilk that we are going to alternate as we mix it into the batter. Alrighty, here we go. Low speed. And this is cake flour, but of course I will have the recipe listed. And then we're going to add half of the buttermilk. Alright, now we just need to knock everything off to make sure there's no flour stuck at the bottom. Everything looks good. One more mix and we're done. Okay guys, we are going to put this in our pans. You should have your oven preheated to 350 degrees. Alright, here I have two 8 inch round cake pans. I did line them with some parchment rounds. I will list all that down below guys. They come in very very handy. Now just try to divide the dough as evenly as possible. Okay, those are about even. I'm going to pop them in the oven and I'll be back when they're ready. Okay guys, the cakes are out of the oven. I'm going to leave them on this rack for about five minutes and then I'm going to flip them over onto the cooling rack where they will sit for about an hour to completely cool. I'll be back. Guys, we are going to start on the frosting for the cake. I already have this on. We are going to add our butter and we are going to start adding in our condensed milk. Make sure you don't use evaporated milk. You need to use the condensed milk. I will leave it linked in the description bar below. And we are going to add in our egg yolks at this time. And we are going to start whisking this. Make sure it gets fully incorporated. Okay, now that this is nice and thick and bubbly, we are going to add in our coconut pecans and vanilla. You see how it's nice and bubbly? Just give it a minute to thoroughly cook off. We're going to turn the heat off. Add in our vanilla. Get that incorporated. It gives it a little bit of color. Our pecans. And our coconut. Okay, I'm going to switch over to a spatula now 
just to make it easy to mix this. And there it is. Look at that. Oh, I could eat this just with a spoon. Delicious. Now we're just going to need to let this uh, cool down a little bit before we frost the cake. And I'll be back. Yummy. Mmm. Delicious. Hey guys, the cakes are out. They're cool. Frosting is ready. I'm going to share with you a little gadget that I discovered and that I've been using and I love it. It is a cake slicer. Now I make cakes as you all know quite often and sometimes I cut them and I don't get them the right size and it's kind of frustrating and I have tried many cake slicers and I just end up throwing them in a drawer and never use them again. This one I have found and this is what it looks like. See you when it's a smaller cake you just pinch it together if it's a larger cake you can make it big. So what you do is you put it on your cake. It doesn't go as small as these uh, little 8 inch cakes but that's okay because it works. My cake comes up to the fourth one so the half one would be two. You just put it there and start slicing and you're going to get a perfectly good slice every time. And when you get to the halfway mark All you're going to do is turn it around, turn your cake around, and then just cut it again. And you get a perfectly good slice every time. Set it aside. And there you go. Look at that. Isn't that easy? I loved it. When the first time I used it, I loved it. Okay, I'm just going to share it with you, and I will have it linked below if you want to give it a try. I already had one over here cut, and I get my frosting. I start putting it on the layers. Now, you put as much as you want. That's totally up to you. Just make sure you have enough for all three layers. Just go all the way to the edge. This cake, traditionally, you don't frost the sides. But you can if you want to. That's totally up to you. Okay, and then we bring the other one over. And you put this one face down. Just try to get it even. We'll brush off the crumbs in a minute. Let me use my bigger spatula for this, for this job. Okay, and then we get our next layer. Put it on top. Okay guys, I had to clean this area up a little bit. I'm the type of person that I do not like to work in a dirty kitchen. I tend to forget things. I tend to just not do things as nicely. So I always stop in between and clean up a little bit. Just want to make sure I have enough for the top. Look at that. This just looks and smells delicious. Okay, now the last layer. I'm going to put it upside down so that we have a nice smooth area and then just put it back in place if it messes up you get a spatula here and put the remainder of this on here now you don't have to slice this cake in into slices if you want to you can just do the two layers and it'll be perfectly fine I just like it for the effect all right now let's smooth this out and you just smooth out the sides and you're done. Okay, we can clean up the sides of the board with a little pastry brush. And that's it, guys. Just make sure it's all nice and smooth, and that's it. Look at that. How delicious. Now, you can sprinkle this with some chocolate if you like and give it some extra effect, but I love it just the way it is. So we're going to let this set up. I'm going to place it in the fridge for about an hour, and then we will give this a taste. So I will be back. All right, guys, let's go ahead and cut this cake. I am so excited to give this a try. I haven't had it in a little bit. Big slice of cake there. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Let me give you a close-up. Look at how beautiful that looks. Yummy. Now let me show you the inside of this one. How's that for a showstopper? 
Okay guys, let's go ahead and give this cake a taste. I'm dying to try it. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Wow guys, this cake is so delicious. I mean, I've had this before. I've made this several times. And I've been tweaking the recipe a little bit here and there. It is so good. The cake is so moist. Really, really, really moist. And the frosting is very good. It's not overly sweet. Um, you can, the roasted pecans, they are so delicious with this. The coconut, it is delicious is all I have to say. Mmm. Mmm. You're going to have to give this one a try. Okay, guys, that's going to conclude the video. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. I will leave all the ingredients and items that I use down in the description box. Go take a look there for information. And don't forget, give us a thumbs up. I'll talk to you later. Bye.